All right, guys. Let's uh, start by going through this. This is the Umi A3 Pro. Simple standard volume setting, dual camera, fingerprint, flash. I actually enjoy this one uh, because just how clean it looks. Those are my personal settings. The way I have it set up. I think look how clean and clear it is like it's insane this video is not doing its full justice to it it's beautiful uh, let's go straight down to the settings and let's check out how fast the fingerprint setting is let's do fingerprint prana da 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 quick one Yep. All right. So simple tap. I'm not even. I'm actually doing this really fast. As you can see, it's reading it in a high, oh high capacity. It's done doing the settings. Let's try it out. See, there is a few second lag. Okay, finger on. And then boom. So there is a certain form of lag to it. Let's go to the A3 Pro. RAMs are at 3.G gigabytes, 32 gigabytes. It's on the Android portion 8.10. And all in all, I, I have no issues. It runs fast, it runs easy. The only bad thing that I could say of is that it can't, as you could see, it can't take pictures that are moving that well. You can see there's this beautiful lag, right? But if you hold an item still, let's see it. See, even there, it's blurry. Let me uh, focus the camera. See that? The lettering is blurry. So you got to get a picture that's still, or you got to be really nice and steady. Wait a few seconds. Let's check that out. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a little bit better, a little clean and crisp. So if you're taking pictures of moving objects, it, it's better not. Let's try the HDR. That's a little bit more of a lag. Try again. See the picture right there ended up came coming out really nice, really pretty. But again, it goes back to that notion that the picture has to be still. Uh, oh, it gives you more options on the modification more um, filters that you could use and then I know where is it there's the beating mode and then they have this so you have your own little emojis filters frames coloring for filming so it gives it it gives and takes so I think they're in the right path with this product they're aiming really good the body ratio as you can see is is not that thick um, it has the notch that most um, Apple phones have and let's check the audio Let's go to something that won't mess me up with trademarking and copyrights. That's always pretty. Mm. Let's try... Uh... And there's no lag on... 
I'm loading. And right now I'm on my Wi-Fi, but even on my service there is no lag. And let's rotate it. Focus on it. It's pretty loud. Goes all the way to 720, it even goes to 180, 180 pixels. Turn it up, all the way. And from there. So, there you have it, guys. It's just straightforward, easy to use. And it's under a hundred dollars. Well, it's a hundred dollars roughly right now. Um, but what more do you want? It, it handles the capacity. The memory is, I think, 32 gigabytes. Let me see on the memory to be precisely correct. Yes, yeah, usage of uh, 32 gigabytes. I have a lot of stuff in here that I haven't even hit the bare minimum. But it's just one of those things you gotta play with. It does not have a um, dimmer, a night dimmer. I really recommend people to do that as a face uh, unlock. So basically, it it does. I give it, I give it four out of five. The only thing that I have against is the camera and the lag on the fingerprint. But it's up there for the price that you're paying it competes against the I really want to say the name brands it, it gives you the look it gives you the feel there is a glass look that's the only bad thing you know fingerprints and there's a bezel as you can see let me focus the camera here you lose a little bit of your video quality and also this so you end up losing at least Let's say what two fingers of uh, video quality and length, but I'm gonna do the Umi Max Pro, and that's gonna be a different phone, which I'll unveil and then talk about it more. But I'll leave the link below and show you guys more details and just keep tuned for that Max. One. I think the Max ones is where they hit the nail on the head. But I, you can't really complain for the value. And it keeps up. It's really fast. It keeps up. There is no lag, as you can see. It goes fast. It's just, you know, you have to deal with the camera. And it also has uh, two, dual, two dual SIM cards and a memory in here, just right here. So whoever likes to use two SIM cards. There it is. You got your standard jack entry, your universal entry. This is where your volume comes up, power, and the fingerprint isn't that big. But I think it's a work in progress, like I said. And I think uh, they're going to nail it on this max one that I'm going to review this coming week. And I hope you guys like it.